look, there's a movie poster in the background. It's teal and orange. Oh, is Do there? you see it? I see it. I genuinely feel there are a bunch of changes that were made in this version that did not, oh. like, roll back to the base game. I don't remember uh, enemies having um, sound effects that would I thought that would heal me. That loud when they attack you. Like, they seem to have much louder audio cues. Oh, by the way, uh, I can confirm if enemies are not on screen, their AI basically turns off. Okay, perfect. You saw that! You yeah. saw that! He could only activate the attack once, like, the top of his head came onto the fucking yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel about that trick. It's, I mean, it's based on the idea of, there's like, a lot of games that do it. Yeah, difficulty not becoming, like, un... Like, untenable? But at the same time, like, when it's too bad, you can just turn the camera and turn every enemy off. Also, audio, good audio cues are supposed to let you know. Yeah. I don't- I-, I but I understand why they do it, though. Like, I- I don't blame them It's for just it. whether or not it's, like, too overt or not. Cause sometimes you'll play it and it'll be, like, way more annoying where you're like, I couldn't have known cause the camera cut in a way where, like, you just fucking attack me out of nowhere, you know? Ah, fuck you. Oh, and his flag is like, like almost covered over. Look, it's a big Nephilim thing. Or fucking whatever. Who gives a shit? He's now I'm chasing him. Ah, just like I should have. It's like that fake version of people you make up in your mind when you want to argue, or like or when you dream and then. You oh, wake they're up monochromatic. When you. <laughs> You wake up angry. Ooh, so mad about that argument that's not real. <laughs> let's do this. Let's let's do it, Dante. Yeah, me and you. We're gonna fucking do it. We're gonna have a big fight. It's gonna be so cool. Like you remembered it being flaccid, I, I, but you didn't I, remember it shrinking and going inside of your body. I, I, I remembered that you don't get to fight Dante. That's all I remember. You thought it was gonna be a little. I, little... I didn't remember that he just kind of nudges him over with your his Audi foot. becomes an innie. Oh my fucking god! It tucks into itself. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that is so bad. Yeah. We'll kick for mother. <laughs> that is BDSM. That's... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I I struggle to think of something like as flaccid as that in a game. <laughs> like, was there ever? It's is it the most flaccid it's ever been? Because I remembered like well, I remember starting the DLC up. Mm. And being like, mm. and then seeing Dante, like, oh, I'm gonna fight him, and being like, oh, the one thing that DMC3 completely failed to do, right? I didn't get to have to play as Virgil and fight Dante. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll get to, do oh. Oh. Right, just. Yeah. Holy shit, man. Yeah, it's just. And that's it. That's fucking it. And you do get a big one-on-one -on -one fight, but it's not with fucking Dante. It's with yourself. Like, so they could repurpose the existing boss fight. I killed him. Yeah. You took his amulet. It's useless. It only responds to Dante. He gave it to him. Remember? He was always her favorite. You know that. Mother. The way she admired his impulsiveness. How he followed his heart. The way she raised him lovingly. Oh, wait. Find her. Show her what you've done. 
finish what you've started. You're right, evil version of me. With his hair combed. Yeah, there. And here you get to actually see her. There's mother. There's there's the asset. And she's a redhead. Yeah. That's the that hair looks really bad. It looks very not great. Quick, go do it, uh, Virgil. You're bad. Look at the stage. Oh, um. So there's a piece of art where he, uh, she's holding a flower. Yeah, I, uh, that's the art I saw. It's a green flower. Right. Uh, isn't it blue? I, I think it's blue because I because someone I might be fucked. Someone more. pointed out that like she has red hair now. So the idea is a red queen holding a blue rose. Oh. Right. I get it. That's cool. Shame they didn't do anything with it. They didn't do nothing. But look you at know. your look at that. That's free. Oh, he fell off. That's fucking free money right there. Wow, Virgil, you're so strong. Be strong for mother. Spin! That looks like <laughs> fucking ass, dude. Spin, Virgil! That looks so garbage. Spin, my son. So fucking bad. Oh, uh, you know what? Remember what I was saying earlier? That couldn't have been the case, because now Don't we're worry, back to mother. fucking platforms. Your nightmares will soon be over. I looked down for a second, and I looked up, and I couldn't figure out how the fuck that was even possible. <laughs> For you to get to that spot. Did you did you hear what he said though? Oh, oh all right. No, I talked over it. I'm sorry. He said, Don't worry, mother, your nightmares will soon be over. In a super creepy way. He literally says, Mother. Well, the important thing is that the game knows what's important. I'm glad it does. And what's important is mother. It happens canonically. Can't say it didn't happen. That summon sword just gonna hang out, huh? It's gonna hang out. Uh -huh. It's just gonna chill. See, in this stage, the stage is more blue because Virgil is getting stronger uh -huh. than Dante. Can we talk about how the hair rules in this game make no sense? Which ones? Well, okay, so Dante has black hair, mm -hmm. and then he gets a patch of white when he gets the devil trigger the first time. Yes. Right? Virgil has white hair as a child. Yes. So shouldn't he be like a hundred- We tried figuring this out last time. I know, but shouldn't he be like a hundred times stronger, like off the bat, in that case? And you established, you even told me just before that in the prequel comic, he already got his devil trigger. He fought, he, he, he killed a bunch of, a bunch of people. But he didn't remember what happened. He didn't quite know. It just sort of happened unintentionally. Also, so, this Sparta is and Ava don't have white hair. None of the kids have red no, hair. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a Nephilim thing. Fucking Mundus is bald, so we can avoid this entire question. It's a Nephilim thing. They're special. Because they're both. Alright. Cool. No lock ons. Mm, shoot him with Sick. your gun. <laughs> yeah, I don't care for those enemies. I don't care for them not even a little bit. I don't like anything about the way they work. I don't like that they float away. I don't like that they decide to just turn off your main traversal mechanic at random. <sighs> they made the costume, though. They made the costume. Did I go back? No, I didn't. How could you tell? Oh, oh! I'm having a laugh over here. Oh boy! Which way to go? Just the left one. Oh my! Look at his stance. 
He said, like, wait, take a second. He's tired. Yeah, look at him, look at him. Look, he's just like, yeah, I'm sleepy. One more here. I mean, that looks like, no, that's not progress. Yeah, no, that's a nice that's little not... vital, that's a blorb right there. You just got look a blorb. Look, there's one of, little thing over there. Oh my God. You can even see it. You can even see them hinting at it. And you don't have to fucking that float. Mm. He's got the same face. That's what it is. Oh, it's man. an anime boy in an anime hair with anime jacket in a realistic style, but an American ass American face. Oh man, a David Borney ass face. <laughs> I'll save Almost you. Almost there. Motivation. <laughs> just, uh, just point, subtitle point it towards it. us. Point him towards just, us. Just subtitle it. Just yeah, and I give him the walk. Motivation. Uh, <laughs> now he's motivated. Like in in three. Like Virgil's just as much of a smart ass as Dante is. But he's just dry. Yeah, he's dry about it, yeah. Like, dry British wit. Right? Like, when Dante talks to him on the on the tower, and he goes, Ah, this is a crappy party! Right? He doesn't go, Whatever, Dante. It is not a party. I am... Oh, you have to be serious about this demon stuff, like this one would. He goes, Oh, sorry, I couldn't. I got so excited, I couldn't prepare for the bash. He's just bash <laughs> weird. Right. Right? Right, right. Like, he plays along. He's, he's a fun guy. He's just, just a fucking asshole. And here is. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh. What was going on with the camera there? I got an A. Is the mixing wrong? I feel like sound effects are playing in the wrong volume occasionally. And you know, the the bugs we encountered earlier don't don't help that perception either. That rotation was pretty slick though. Yeah, that was pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> the way the animation just went. <laughs> you just grabbed that z-axis and just You're almost there, Virgil. What's that? Oh, that, oh, I thought it was I a... can't walk while I'm charging it. Why wouldn't you, why you... I just... Why would you be able to walk? Answer my question. Hmm. Why would you be able to walk? Why would you need to do that? I don't know, maybe over that way if there's a thing. Yeah, maybe. You fucking whatever. Smells like secrets. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that secret smell over there. Wow, I regret saying that. That was an awful thing to say. <laughs> Dude, this sucks. It's just... <laughs> like... This is, I mean... Like, I feel bad for the game. But because it ends but if, but on they, this note. But if they didn't make this, then there would have been no Virgil at all playable anywhere. Like this had to. Oh yeah, sure. This was the best they could do. And I just feel bad, like, cause if they had gotten a sequel, they would have been able, like, they would have toned it up. Or well, whatever. yeah, cause, 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 well, I mean, you'll see. It's like, yeah, he sets himself up for big old villains. If I remember, he goes, I'll see you, Dante, in DMC Devil May Cry 2, 2, The Devil May Cry. Want to know the name, name, name? Somebody pointed out, I think I it was a YouTube comment or a Reddit comment, that the only devil that cries in this game is Lilith after the heroes murder her child. <laughs> uh, so let's, let's unpack the title of the game. And the title of the game is... The, a devil may cry when you burst their womb. When you burst their womb. <laughs> wow, how did you do that? Oh shit! Oh, the camera got stuck behind the wall there, and it wouldn't move forward. That's what happened. No camera. 
I remember right before this DLC came out, they fucking put out a statement talking about the, the oh man, this is the kind of stuff you can expect in the, the, the Virgil section, right? And they're like, Virgil will not be fighting any colored enemies. He will not be fighting any red or blue enemies in his section. He will have angel and demon weapons, but don't worry, everyone. That stuff's gone. And it's like, fucking wow, guys. Yeah. You know enough to pull it from the DLC, but you're not gonna... Oh, whatever. I guess they eventually did. It's like... On some versions of the game. I, I almost feel like they shipped knowing that that shouldn't have been there, you know? Lie about it's too late to change it. Yeah, I, I really... I feel like they, that's kind of what was happening. Too many enemies in the game and too many systems are built around it. Alternatively, it shipped with some people knowing that it sucked. But not the right people. Oh, fancy though. Yeah, until his arms reset to the default <laughs> animated state. His face grimaced. <laughs> Motivation. <laughs> oh, his fucking legs clipped through. Oh, man, really? Oh. That looks like shit. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm motivated. Oh, man. I am done with this type of environment. I... like, no thanks. Too late. You better uh, You better not be. I was done with this type of environment before we sat down today. I just don't care for it. This... this... this we're fucking... we're a, chilling this, in this floating this limbo acid, zone. This acid... asset float space. <laughs> AKA. There are a lot of games that have asset float spaces. Well, you know, I mean, it is hell, so. Hey. We can chop up the level. Um, yeah, where's. My... Yeah, man. Oh, wait, here. What about Judgment Cut Charge? What's that? Oh, that that's. So, yeah, that just sounds like a stronger version of it. Oh. It's bigger. But we're we going for the embeds. Yeah. So you can do shit like that. Let's see it. Maybe. Let's see it be real cool. Oh, now I remember that monster. Yeah. Now I remember the problem. Yeah. It's terrible. Holy shit. Movement is, is a cool thing that we all enjoy. I enjoy um, a character that can move well in a video game. I enjoy that, on occasion. Wow, this bitch just got nothing going on, huh? Not really. That moveset is very, very adequate to deal with that angel, uh, what's the name? Witch? That's the witch. Witch, yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking, the characters that don't have Dante and Virgil's movesets, these groups of demons would be fucking invincible. Oh no, a red one! Well, I don't have... Like, I have a stick or a gun or whatever to fight it with. I sure don't have a demon weapon. Which begs the question, why would a demon ever be weak to demon weapons? See, it's like... Specifically. <sighs> Like the, the whole thing about devil, like what they have, this game doesn't have devil arms, right? It's no. not. It's not that. Like it's, it's an a angel weapon or a devil weapon. Uh, an axe typically used by demons. The dad gave to me in a painting. Wait, no, it does have devil. Wait, did we not get? Did Bob Bardis not give us? Oh, the something plane? for dying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that true. how we got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why would Bob Bardas give us an angel? <laughs> Was he secretly an angel? What's his detailed text for? 
No. It's just a... No. I could really use a lunar phase right about now. You miss it, huh? I noticed I watched a, a couple of highlights of your stream and lunar phase was your go-to cheese it. It's it's his big big cheese it. Well, it's a big, it's a good move. It's a good fucking move. Big fucking cheese it's. Ah crap! It's the fuzz. Oh yeah. Dirt on the coat. Oh, you see, it? it's very fancy. You can do it, Virgil. You can you can get there. Man, I'm leaning back right now. I'm just done. Do you know how to double jump? He doesn't have a double jump. He's got, he's got the trick. Air yeah, truck. Yeah, because, like, that lost soul is needlessly difficult to hit. Oh, yeah. In prisoner. All that I see. All that I see. Oh my god, her hair is clipping through her own fucking face! <sighs> Look! It's a big monster. Fight it. The climax of your story. A forcibly grounded enemy. Which you can therefore use literally half your moveset against tops. But then he does that thing, and then... Okay. Well, I don't remember that at all. No, that... Thi this is the fun part. Oh. Uh, because now... You just have you to just, shoot him. You huh? can't touch those parts. So he's a shittier blitz. A shittier blitz. Yeah. Shittier blitz. And See, I'll it's fun. It's fun when you make a game like this because then you have obvious things to compare it to. Unfavorably. How? How did that happen? How did how did you end I, up going I, I, I towards ran, the camera? I ran the wrong way, and that was that. My favorite part is that he didn't animate throwing that at you. Just did it. All right, here's this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Virgil, I'm so glad you're here. I, I thought I would never see you again. Virgil? Virgil? What's happened? He's dead. How? It was me. What? I killed him. You killed him? How could you? He was your brother. He was your favorite. <coughs> I could never be like him. <coughs> always waiting in his shadow, always second best. Well, not anymore. He got the red one, and that means you liked him more. I always loved you equally. You saved me from this, to break my heart. Why? Look at me, Virgil! I'm here to say goodbye. What have you become? We gave you power, and you used it to kill! After everything we taught you! Everything you taught me was wrong. All you gave me was power, nothing else. I brought you into this world, gave you love. Doesn't that mean anything to you? What kind of mother says Where's we gave heart? you power? Well, I they no didn't have actually. One, no. They naturally no. inherited the power. Goodbye. Please. So the weirdest thing about this one is that this interaction is real, unlike no, the others they're where they're all fake. Yeah. He's. Don't. This is not just his mental mother. That's actually actual, actual actually ghost mom. spirit of, of of dead angel mom. So. Throughout the game, we got really- we did get confused, and we're like, Virgil was always portrayed as the weaker one, right? It's like, oh no, wait. That's from the DLC, where he literally tells the player, I'm weaker than Dante. I was always second best compared to Dante. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then that retroactively makes his shitty-ass boss fight even worse. Because you're like, well, of course we won. 
he was apparently always living in Tante's shadow because he was a bitch. But but then but then you know, like how much of that is real if you're constantly fucking doing all this other shit and you become an even like boss fight at the end of it. Yeah. Also, I gotta say like there's there's one thing about showing a character descending into darkness or whatever. It's actually really similar, and I think it's a writing issue, and it's not a character issue. Like, it's an overall writing issue. Remember when I would talk about how, like, Dante feels actually unintelligent in the main game? The way he does things, or okay. his he yeah. looks like a stupid person? Okay. Virgil, his You've motivations here are dumb. They're not misguided. They're not... Even he's not even power. being tricked. I want to rule. He's he's stupid. Power. Oh, he said the line though. It's I think the idea you know, is supposed to be to that me. like oh I want to rule and then someone beats him and then he goes I've never been beaten before. It's Joffrey. I hate this. I've never been slapped before. I hate this feeling a lot. Yeah. Hollow Virgil. And this is when I just did you did you. Well, at least they made a new area for it. I couldn't have been more disappointed by this. Like... They just reused an existing boss fight. It's not even a new boss fight. And the one thing we wanted to get in the form of a Dante match that they straight up show us, they show it. Just to doesn't you. fucking happen. Like goddamn, why? It's it's very saddening. <sighs> like this fight is better than the actual final boss fight. Different arena, he's got this weird heart thing. It's a better looking area. It's a better looking, yeah. Yeah. Like, he does ver more Virgil stuff than the real Virgil fight did. Yeah. But... Mm. Now it's muddy desert. Original, original couldn't do that, though. Can you not shoot him? No. Oh. Nothing to do. I'm actually... Nothing to do. Is there... Like, really? You just gotta wait. Oh, that's ass! That's fucking terrible! Holy shit! That's all there is to it. Wow, that damage is going really big. Let me watch this real careful. Because this actually looks really similar, but slower than the fight with the Dra uh, Drekavak. Oh, hmm. Hmm, interesting thought. Like, I think I had more fun doing that than I- than you are having here. <laughs> you know what? There's an obvious extremely clear difference between this type of it, almost almost every action game boss has a face similar to this right mm -hmm. let's take phantom from dmc1 yes he has a face very similar to this where he'll throw a ground projectile and it will cause bursting columns does everyone remember the difference between this phase and that and it's that phantom's still on the fucking screen you can continue the fight you, you have to be careful, because there's a bunch of bullshit all over, but you still have the ability to shoot him, stinger him. The fight does not stop for no reason. 
so like that... the worst part about that fe that phase there is not the moment where you're dodging the attack, it's where you're waiting for the next attack to show you're up. Just fucking sitting there. I'm going, alright, thumb in my ass, I guess. This boss is not as threatening as the thumb I've placed in my own rectum. Because I don't know what's gonna come out when I ripcord it. Soft shoe. We're one in the same. So he kills his fake people and then he kills himself, and thus his conscience is defeated. So he gains the power of no longer giving a fuck. Like, I think the narrative is just relying on no one saying anything precise and everything being ethereal and metaphorical. So that a series of... Oh, hey. Yeah, there you go. Devil Trigger nukes. Except, do you remember what his Devil Trigger is? It's not actually a Devil Trigger. It's Doppelganger. It's Doppelganger. That he already used. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, the ability that he had, and that you don't have access to in this entire thing. Well, I, maybe that's because the the, the necklace. He just got it back, right? Just shove so, it. That's crap. I mean, I'm I'm gonna say. By the way, fucking awesome! Congrats on that shit. <laughs> that was sensational, Wolves. <laughs> 